Ending 29, the pawn wins against the rook. So far we have seen examples where the rook was trying to win, but there is one scenario where the rook faces certain problems to stop the pawn and can even lose. The best known example is the so-called Barbie Saavedra position, which involves stalemate and under-promotion motifs. However, this situation can also arise in a more standard way, as we can see below. I recommend studying this example to understand how ideas from theoretical endings can apply to more complex positions. If the side having a rook is to move, given the positions occupied by both kings and the pawn, there are just two squares where the rook loses, those two marked on the board, f5 and b5. The winning sequence is long, but clear. The first move has to be a rook check hindering immediate promotion. Rook f5 f6. King d6 d5. First subtlety, not. King d6 d7. Rook f6 f1. King d6 d5. Rook f6 f5. And not. King d5 c4. Rook f5 f1. King d5 d4. Apparently, the white king cannot flee from the checks but there is one square where he can hide, b7. We just need a way to cross the c file. Rook f5 f4. King d4 d3. Rook f4 f3. King d3 c2. Rook f3 f2. King c2 b3. That is the way. Now the king hides on the b7 square without trouble. Rook f2 f3 King b3 b4 Rook f3 f4 King b4 b5 Rook f4 f5 King b5 b6 Rook f5 f6 King b6 b7 Recommended exercise, check that black also loses with the rook on the bs square. The sequence is similar. <laughs> 